we're talking about Monique Rufri's The Mermaid of Black Conch. The Mermaid of Black Conch is a literary fiction that won the Costa Award in 2020. Uh, it's a literary fiction with romantic elements as we follow the story of David and Ikea, only that Ikea is a mermaid and herein lies our dilemma. Now, the characters of David and Ikea are quite richly and robustly developed. David's story in this novel is, as we might say, the story, the story of his becoming or his coming of age. However, he, he, he has had a relationship with, he has an ex in this, in this book. Ikea, however, being a mermaid, also has a back history which we go into and is quite a sad one. Her history is one of betrayal, or is one of sadness, and it would have been a, or it would be a, a one of hope as well when she meets David, as she begins to become human and begins to trust again. However, the dilemma that David finds himself in falling for IKEA in this book brings about different problems for him and for his community. Now, this is even further compounded by the way that David comes to know Ikea. Ikea was caught by, was caught in the sea by some fishermen who came into the island of Black Conch from, I think, Florida and they um, after catching the, the mermaid, we're hoping to make some money by selling her off or exhibiting her um, or just making a show of her. But David rescues her and helps her to begin to um, get, you know, begin to get assimilated into the uh, community, first into his uh, close circle uh, of his sister-in-law and then of his friends and you know but without giving much away um hoping that you will you will jump on this wagon and find this book to read um, we can say that the we write this story up to the point where david has to make a choice um, between his love uh, for ikea david has to make a choice about what to do with his love for ikea and ikea as well um, when she's confronted with choices of what is best for those whom she has now come to love. Um, this book was actually set in uh, a fictional island in uh, um, known as Black Conch, but has Caribbean vibes, has Cari the Caribbean uh, cultural uh, tapestry. And uh, Monique, uh, Monique Ruffrey actually tells a very beautiful story of um, day of David and Nakia's love in a very lyrical in a lyrical language in 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 a very descriptive manner and this book actually carries you along or the story carries you along uh, with a very very robust uh, development of the characters of the fishermen of the community of the of the of the landscape on the island uh, the seas, the sights, the sound, uh, the food, and almost in the character of almost every Caribbean novel that I have read or every piece of uh, Caribbean literature that I have read, um, never goes unfinished without a touch of humor or comedy. And we find enough of that in this book, enough to make light the uh, sometimes really depressing um, scenes that um, Monique plots in this book. My first, my thoughts about the book, it's a great read. I I love the book so much that I f went further to, uh, in, uh, went deeper into research on Monique's writing and I found a few, a few of her other works which I'm really looking forward to digging uh, into and also on the subjects that she takes on in her books. Monique Ruffrey takes on uh, or tries to situate really strong female characters in her books, tries to, without being sympathetic, without making them out to be victims, but re portrays, them in, uh, portrays them in situations where they rise above situations, with rise above um, oppression in, in, in novels, try to 
bring make blo make them blossom in her writing and we see the coming we see women coming out as really strong really resilient and really strong as strong voices in communities and in relationships and relationship contexts that define themselves have you read any of monique ruffrey's books if you have please let me know which ones you've read and what you thought about them and especially about the mermaid of black conch if you have read um, this book please let me know what you think and if you haven't i encourage you to Go find a copy and read it, read it and enjoy it. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.